Hello everybody, welcome back. Thank you for joining me for another video. My name is Canela Siraco and welcome to my YouTube channel. Um, okay, so I'm gonna get started, but before I do that, I would like to wish all my fellow Canadians a happy Thanksgiving. Um, it is Monday, but you are watching this on Tuesday, but today, when I am pouring today right now, it is actually Monday and it is Thanksgiving day. So happy Thanksgiving to all my Canadian uh, followers and viewers. I hope you guys have a great day, eat lots of turkey, and then go take a nap. <laughs> we are off to my in-laws later today for a turkey dinner. All right, so um, what you see here is a piece I did a couple weeks back, maybe even a month back. I don't even know when I did it. Um, and unfortunately, it just did not uh, dry properly and it's not really what I wanted. Um, you can see here um, the paint pulled away from the edges. But the other strange thing that happened was, I don't know if you can see, but you see these little white spots here? I don't know if I accidentally mixed a different type of white I don't know what happened there. Um, I'd pick it up, but I can't because I have everything is level. So I don't want to pick it up. But you can see there's some white spots in here. Now I could, you know, paint my edges and take a white um, paint with a paintbrush and paint all the negative space. But quite frankly, I don't really want to do that. I don't want to spend hours painting with a paintbrush and fixing the edges. It's not a piece I'm extremely happy with. I do love the color and I do love the way this turned out, but I, I'm just not happy with it and I'm going to paint over it. So for those of you who are yelling at me once again, uh, I'm sorry. Um, so I'm going to do a black base obviously because white may not end up covering these dark colors when it dries. So a safe bet is to use black. So I'm going to be using my Artist Loft Flow Acrylic Black and my paints along with my paint bottles, my colors, are mixed with water and Floetrol. And the ratios for how to mix my paints you can find in video number 63. I will link it up here at the top. For those who are using Australian Floetrol or um, Oetrol Floetrol, you can find ratios for that in video number 345. All right, and I just realized I don't have my hair dryer. So let me grab my low blow, my flower hair dryer. All right, so I will be using low blow today. And there was something else. Oh, um, I'm using all Arteza paints. So if you saw my last video, I got some new Arteza paints, new colors, and I did that beautiful autumn piece. And it's, let me see how it's drying. Hold on, let's see here. It's still pretty wet, but I will show you really quickly. It is drying beautifully. So you can see the edges are just dry and the rest is still wet, but it is gorgeous. It didn't shift. It didn't move. There's nothing different about it. So I'm really loving that and I'm really happy about that. So I'm gonna do the Arteza colors again. And all it is, they're all pearl metallic colors and they are all Arteza. I did not squeeze in a different color like I did in the last video with the Van Dyke Brown. So I decided to, again, go out of my comfort zone with colors and I'm doing greens and purple with a pop of this, which will be the contrasting color. So let's start. We are going to do a uh, pearl sage green. Then I have pearl royal purple. Then pearl cactus green. Then pearl lilac. Followed by pearl strawberry red. This is a gorgeous color. And topping it off, we have pearl sea green. And again, they are all Arteza. All right, so this should be interesting. They're all pearl. And so I'm going to flood my canvas and I'll be right back. <music> Bye. 
ready, all flooded, ready to go. So let's get started and get a paper towel here. All right, so let's start with the first color here. And some of these I haven't used yet. So there's a little water and flow trowel in the tip from shaking it and getting it ready. So I'm just going to do that. Um, let's see, what do I want to do today? I could do the same shape and design I did on the previous canvas. So actually, why don't I just do that? I was going to do wispy. <clears throat> Sorry, I see some extra bubbles here. I was going to do a wispy, but I think I'm going to stick to the same pattern I had on this piece before. So I'm going to do that. So let's start over here. I hope this turns out nice. And I mean the colors. All right. Should be good. All right, this one. Just gotta make sure there's no water goop in the lid because I haven't used some of these colors yet. All right. That's pretty. Yeah, so I wouldn't normally do greens and purples, but I really like these colors and I wanna try them all. I wanna make sure I give all of them a go. And like I said, I still have one more pack that I ordered off Amazon, but unfortunately it wasn't prime. So um, I have to wait a couple of weeks to get it, but that's okay. Um, I can wait and we'll see. There's gonna be, there's some nice blues in that one, but I will use, I do wanna try the other blues that were uh, in the packages I did get. All right, so this one I'm pretty sure I used in my last video. So that should be good to go. This will be a nice contrasting color. I'm really getting close to the edge here. I don't know what's happening there. Don't fall over the edge. I'm level, I swear. I made sure everything was level. All right. Last color. This is a pretty green. It's almost like a turquoise. This guy is moving too close to the edge for my liking. So I'm gonna start up there real quick. He's already falling. All right, pop all the bubbles. All right, let's blow this out. I'm gonna come over here. Yeah, all right, let's get started. Okay, so blowout, gorgeous, color comfort zone, eh. <laughs> I'm not sure I like these colors. And I think what's throwing me off is the strawberry red. As I dip my hand into this paper towel of paint. All right, let me throw that out. Yeah, I'm not, I love the blowout. I love that it's not overtaken by cells. So there's just a few here and just a few here. Some more may develop as it's going, 
but I'm not sure about the color. I think I should have stuck with just green and purple and see how that would have come out. But let me see what's going on over here. Hmm. I'm going to leave it. I believe that there's somebody out there who's going to really love the color. And if not, then when it dries and in a couple of weeks from now, if it doesn't sell, I may paint over it. There's a gooper in here. <laughs> All right. So that's out. Um, let me see. I wonder what would happen if I torched just a little bit. I don't want to ruin it. Okay, so some cells. Eh, actually, that's not so bad. I don't want to do the whole thing. 100%, I do not want to torch the whole thing. I'm going to torch right here. And I don't think I want to do any more. I'm not one for torching after the painting is done. And I kind of don't like what I did there. And see, I shouldn't do what I normally don't do. There's a reason why I don't do things. I don't know why I did that. And now I don't really like it. And now I'm going to screw it up. Don't touch things you don't usually do, Canela. Why would you do that? Very dumb of me. I shouldn't have done that. Now I'm mad I did that. It was okay here, but I shouldn't have done it there. I shouldn't do it at all. But you look, more cells are slowly forming as I'm talking here. Okay, so I'm going to leave it. I really do like the green here. The green is really pretty. I'm going to fix up my edges and I'm going to bring you guys in for a close up. And maybe by the time I do all that, some more cells will pop up. So I'll be right back. Okay, everybody. So the more I look at it, the more I'm starting to like it. So lesson learned here. This is something I've learned in the past though before. When you finish a piece, if you don't like it right away, don't be so quick to scrape it. I mean, unless the composition turned out really bad or whatever. I'm talking just colors right now, okay? If you do something and the colors don't look that great to you right away, give it five minutes, give it 10 minutes, come back and take a look at it for a second time. Believe me when I tell you, you may change your mind when you come back and look at it just like five minutes later. So when I look at it now, I'm actually really liking it. And I love how soft the colors are. So I'm not scraping it. I'm going to leave it as is. I am going to take my stick. However, you guys all know the drill. You guys must scrape those drips all right there we go okay do it all the way around i already did all the other three sides already so scrape those drips come back do it sorry for the light there reflection that's what you know happens with black all right so let's take a look here i think it's pretty and there's more cells so that's where i torched it back there in the corner and then these cells popped up on their own. So it's definitely different. Like I said, these are, I used all the pearl, all metallic, right? So there's no um, matte color in there, you know? They're all shiny, shimmery colors. So there's definitely some cells. And then this is where I was an idiot and torched it and did that. I wish I didn't do that, but it is what it is. All right. So there is the close-up with the lights on. Not sure if I can get any good lighting because it is only 10 a.m., um, but let me try with the flash. So I have the flash on and there's obviously, yeah, see, there's gonna be shimmer for sure. Like, I mean, there's no doubt about that. It is pretty. And, you know, I'm looking forward to this drying and throwing a top coat of crystal resin on it because resin just makes the colors more vibrant, they pop more, and when you throw this out in the sunlight, I tell you, it's going to be very pretty. So I'm actually glad I just stuck with my gut and said, no, I'm not gonna scrape this one because I know out there somewhere, there's someone who's gonna love these colors. So 
Let's turn the lights back on. So there you have it, my friends. Um, I'd love to know what you guys think about this in the comments below. Do you like the colors? Do you not like the colors? Are they growing on you like they're growing on me? Aside from the colors, what do you think about the blowout? What do you think about the minimal cells? Do you prefer more cells? Do you like this amount of cells? I'm, I like both. Like, I mean, there's a time and place for cells. And in this one, I really like the way it looks, just having the cells just here on the tips here. I kind of like that. So let me know what you guys think about this in the comments below. If you are new watching, I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel. Hit that notification bell. All the information you need to know, there's lots of discount codes in the description below. You can get your discount for your Loli Veffy mats, your Loli Veffy squeeze bottles, crystal resin discounts, the Arteza discount. You can save 10% off your Arteza paints. They're all right here lined up at the bottom. Yes, I have a lot of paints, a lot, a lot of paints, and a lot of Loli Veffy bottles. A lot of people ask me where I got this um, that holds all my paints. Um, my father built it for me a couple of years back. Um, so yeah, I've got a lot of paint. But yeah, so the Arteza paints, um, you can get off their website and you can save 10% off uh, using code Canela Siraco 5 If you are in Canada, you cannot order from the Arteza website as they do not ship to Canada. However, you can buy them from Amazon. That is where I bought my Arteza paints. I bought them from Amazon. However, you do not get a discount on Canada Amazon with your Arteza paints. So if you are in the US and if you are in the UK, I you can get your 10% discount um, using code Canela Siraco 5 um, so that is it for now, guys. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time, have a good day, have a good night, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye.